All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you how to program the Nick module for the AMAG panel. The module looks like this. You plug in your connector. Make sure it's plugged in. Make sure all your dip switches are set correctly. And then you basically run this straight into your computer port. And then we'll get started. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your network card is set to DHCP. So you go down there and you click on Ethernet up here. Change adapter options. You double click on Ethernet. You click properties. You double click on IPv4. It's currently set to DHCP, so you're actually good to go. Just click OK, OK, close, close, close. So you'll need to download the Cobox utility, which I have downloaded now. And you just double click to launch the application. And this is what it looks like. First thing you just do is go ahead and click get host IP. So what this does is you can manually put in your IP address or you can just click a button and it does it for you. So this is currently what the computer DHCP is set to. And then you just simply click find and it will search our NIC module and as long as your cables plugged in and as long as you've got power up here it just takes a few seconds it's discovering it's pretty much sniffing the network and looking for anything within any ranges of the of the, um, the MAC address It's got one NIC card found, you click OK, then in a drop down, you select the NIC card. And if you've got more than one NIC card on the network, let's say you're plugging into maybe a switch and you're searching the whole network, you just want to make sure that that MAC address, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's got a little MAC address right there. You want to make sure that's the same MAC address that is on the module. Now, they put one sticker underneath. So maybe you want to write it down before you plug it in, but they usually give you a second sticker that you guys should put right on top, or sometimes when you put it on the door panel or somewhere here, just so it's visible. But in this case, we'll just go ahead and select that module, since it's the only one. Now if you notice, it's in red. Now what that means is you gotta now go and change your computer address to be within the range. So now we'll go down here, same way we set it to the DHCP, go to network internet settings, Ethernet, change adapter, double click Ethernet, properties, IPv4, and now you're going to set it. So the range was 10 to 126, and we'll just do an arbitrary, I don't know, 25. This doesn't matter at this time, so you can just click one time, it'll just fill in some random numbers, and this is not necessary this time either. Click OK, OK, close, and just close everything up once again. So we're back here again. So what you want to do now again is get host, and as you see it changed it, and it's within the range. So you just want to cancel and just find it again. It should be a little faster this time. There it is, it's found, you select it, now it's black. Once it's black, you can just basically change it to whatever you want within the range. So in this case, we'll do 10.200.26.7, I believe, is what we want. And that was your old one. Let's change the DHCP to the correct one. Make sure your baud rate is set. Click Program. And that is all. It'll take a few seconds. It'll basically tell you everything's accepted and your new IP has been changed.